there are only cosmetic updates to the 2017 RMZ250 in 2017 and we approve of those changes. Suzuki updated the RMZ250 with increased black and yellow accents to the machine like black wheels, triple clamps, side panels, shock spring, a yellow rear fender, a yellow slash black seat cover and of course some updated shroud graphics. We received our fresh yellow scoot recently and wanted to give you a brief overview on what it's like to ride the Suzuki RMZ250. The RMZ250's engine has great throttle response and is snappy off the bottom end. The meat of its power is in the bottom to mid range and pulls strong immediately out of corners. The RMZ250 is very good on low RPMs and can lug around hard pack tracks and get rear wheel traction better than other current 250Fs. The downside to the RMZ250's engine character is that it doesn't pull very far up on top end. Its power bond is narrow and somewhat difficult to ride. Shifting is very crucial to the Suzuki and it is up to the rider to shift precisely around the track to execute fast lap times. The engine needs more pulling power when the track is filled deep, especially if there are sizable jumps. Going to the optional lean coupler will help you get some added mid-range and will help clean up the dirty, rich, low-end feeling the RMZ can come with. The Suzuki's KYB PSF2 fork is tough to figure out immediately. The stock 34 pound per square inch that Suzuki recommends is decent for a 150 pound rider. But when the